Hey everyone, let's do a farming team for Arboralis level 99. This is not using Tiana as you can see. I tried to make this work with, um, what's the name, Kryla instead of Carton. It really comes down to variants, honestly, and I don't want you guys to leave a video that fails half of the time because variants isn't uh, playing nicely. So this is the team. Each unit here is irre irreplaceable, so to speak. The only one you could replace is maybe Maeve for a magic tank such as Celeste or Phasey. That should work, but keep in mind Neither Phasey nor Celeste have Bolting Strike frames, so you're left with using something like Blue Wave on her or on them. So yeah, Maeve starts in Brave Shift, um, stays in Brave Shift the entire fight. She's passive provoking. You need 100% ice, water, light resistance to um, counter or to mitigate all damage taken basically on her, or almost all. So this is the gearing. Yep, and she's using her own mission card. Uh, Bulwark, lots of auto buffing in base form. Same deal, 100, 100, a little bit low on the light side, but we'll manage. And these are the abilities. Own vision card, Brave Shift, get for, um, LB fill as you can see, a little bit at least. And same deal basically. Uh, Kresnik, lots of auto buffing. Um, as you can see, the necessary stats raised. Blue wave, which is important for the final turn. We are defeating the boss on turn four, so meaning he will just switch to that form on that turn. And using his own vision card. Brave Shift, almost get identically, a little bit more resistances as you can see. So he doesn't take any damage. All right, Lara um, is a little bit special. She's wearing two element weapons, or, yeah, two element weapons, one wind weapon, one lightning weapon. It doesn't matter what stats they have as long as she has them. And she'll be taking care of three out of the five elements. So she's taking care of wind, lightning and fire. These are the abilities. Um, pretty much all units are also um, evading, as you can see. So that is also another important part. These, uh, this is the vision card of hers. And yeah, this is the um, brave shift, get towards DPS. Um, nothing too special or fancy here. If we had a good two-handed hammer, I'd give that to her, but we don't. We gotta wait for Pearl until she arrives. These are the abilities. And she's at 125 aquatic, 225 plant, making this a 350 or 175 on average. Carton also uses Lara's vision card. Um, he is wearing an earth weapon and a water weapon. And that way we have all five elements covered turn one. The rest of the base form gearing is um, evasion and element resistance, as you can see. So he also has all the necessary resistances. Brave Shift um, can't fit in true double hand, so true dual wheel it is. With some, um, I actually just realized I don't need blue mages dress because we are only shifting on the very last turn. So I can give him something better. Let's give him Sephiroth's clothes. And these are the abilities. So he's got, let's see, 175 aquatic and 250 plant. Yep, we still got it all right, yeah. And lastly, sky, lots of um, resistances in the base form. 140, a little bit overkill on water, but who cares, and uh, light. Uses orange vision card, you'll see why in a second. Uh, using a lance too, because we're using the lance in peril. Also uses Yuna's necklace for the LB damage. So yeah, she is very expensive as you can see. Um, 300 LB, 200 aquatic and 125 plant. 
and we need Orange Vision card to cap attack percent basically on this build. Very hard to do otherwise. All right, let's get this started. It's rather easy to be honest. This is a very fail safe. Um, so yeah, let's go. So here is the preemptive attack, but like I said, due to the high resistances of Maeve, she does not care. Right, Maeve, triple practiced, natural and hunting call. Lara is going to explosive shot, which imbues her with fire. And hot shot. Carton is going to triple <coughs> shrouded, cursed gift for the fist and peril. Lasts exactly long enough. Way more than enough, five turns. We only need three more turns and Haunting Barrage. Sky Brave Shift and gets her one and only stack of LB. Bulwark is going to um, Kupo Clang and Jaunty Jubilee on Sky. We don't technically need to do this, but it turns out it's better safe than sorry. And um, because the reason is Sky does not have 100% evasion on turn one, so might as well. And Kresnik does Arcane Occident for resistances. So let's do this. All right. So the guard is broken. The mechanic of the boss, by the way, is very, very easy. If you don't hit him at all with any elemental attacks on turn two, you break him entirely on turn three. And that is what I meant. Sky may or may not um, evade. It happened, but she won't take any more damage throughout this fight. And that is why I gave her Jaunty Jubilee. But yeah, what was I saying? So the boss's mechanic, if we didn't hit the boss on this turn at all, we would get rid of uh, these um, physical and magical resistances on turn 3. But since we need one more turn extra to fill uh, the morale gauge, we will defeat the boss on turn 4. So Maeve is going to effective, hunting call and wild barrier. Bulwark is brave shifting. She's going to triple. Uh, Chirrup. Um, Hurricane Symphony and Oro Blanco's Overture, so we do have all the killers up and running. Arcane Stimulant on Presnick. Lara will just triple Hotshot. Carton will just triple Haunting. Sky goes back to base and does Sharp Spear and Double Brisk Tailwind. Now if I'm super super lucky I might get a second stack, but I am not, so Let's just do it like I just did on the previous run. It doesn't matter. Okay. So here are a few attacks, but we won't take any damage. Boss is trying though. All right, let the auto buffing begin. So on this turn, we are not allowed to take or deal any damage whatsoever to the boss. So what we're going to do is a hunting call, effective strategy, limitless ferocity. A bulwark is going back to the base form. Chirrup. Uh, Cactor Cantar. And Jaunty Jubilee on himself. And Kresnik is just going to press Arcane Stimulant once more. And as you can see, LB Gauge is full. Now, uh, not the LB Gauge, but the Morale Gauge. Uh, Lara is going to do Keen Instincts. Uh, Carton is going to do Regain Composure. And Sky is going to do Water. And we will target Water onto Maeve, because we don't want to hit the boss at all. Maeve resists Water anyway, so here we are. And I am super unlucky. That is really unfortunate with the... I, I did this like five times and this is literally the first time I'm not at 200% morale. Oh well, so be it.
Okay, Kresnik died for whatever reason, but it's fine. It's fine, Kresnik is unimportant anyway. So let's do the buffs first. It's the first time. It, 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 it's Murphy's Law. Like, I can't explain this otherwise. I did this five times. Nothing ever went wrong. And on the one time I'm recording, things are not going so well. Oh boy. So we'll do our damage anyway. And I should still easily fit the boss. Famous last words, by the way. Oops, wrong ability. Uh, gifted swing. Brave shift on. Fat Chocobo. And let's do this. We're starting off with the left hand side and once the chain is built up, we'll go over to the right hand side. So start and go. We still managed, so Kresnik's death did not matter one bit. It's going to be a little bit closer, yeah, because we are not at 200% morale, so we should have dealt 1.4 billion. The boss has 1.1 billion. So it's a little bit closer than I would like, would have liked it to be. But yeah, uh, Sky had bad variants. She usually is around, well, it's also partly due to not being at 200% morale. So with 200% morale, Sky is usually at 450 million. Lara is at 500 million. So that's already 950 million out of the 1.1 billion you need. And the rest is coming from Curtin, obviously. All right, and also Bulwark and Maeve on previous runs were at 5 million each, so it's just chip damage, so to say. But yeah, that is a very easy and pretty quick four-turn run to farm this boss. I mean, it still takes a little bit of time, but it's technically fail-safe as long as Bulwark and or Kresnik survives, so yeah. It isn't that hard after all. All right. Thank you all for watching. Um, by the way, before I end this video, if you are asking for replacements, like I said, and I do want to repeat this again, uh, starting from Bulwark, Bulwark, Kresnik, Lara, Carton, Sky, none of them are really replaceable. They all have very crucial rules, uh, roles in this uh, part of the fight. One could argue that you could use... Um, Auron instead of Sky. You can try, but it probably won't work as well. Um, Maeve, like I said, could be substituted for Celeste or Faze or Behemi maybe, but I wouldn't suggest doing Behemi for counterattacks. And when you counterattacks, you have to wait until turn 7. So no unit that counterattacks with physical attacks at all, or attacks in general. So Behemi for this strat, not the best choice. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful rest of the evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you're from. Merry Christmas, Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. We'll see each other tomorrow for my high score run. I have to fine tune it still. See you then. Bye bye.